Ken, uh, I, I know that you, uh, I know that you've actually have uh, dabbled in stem cells. I've dabbled in stem cells a little bit myself. I like I kind of like uh, to talk about uh, what you feel about stem cells and what uh, what they have done for you. Uh, sharing your story there to what uh, what kind of problems you might have had before, why you wanted to go into uh, stem cells, and what have they done for you since? Yeah, it's. Um... I was a few years, oh, f- four, five, six years back. Um, I was having a lot of issues with shoulders, knees, back. And even before that, you know, it was just a gradual buildup of injuries and things that I'd gone through in my career and just got me into a point to where I, I hadn't trained for almost a year and a half. I was depressed. I didn't look good. I didn't feel good. And I just, man, I was just looking at myself and I just felt ugly in the mirror i didn't like it i mean just i just like who am i like all these things happening and so i just got to a point so where i said people oh, did an intervention for you then huh? well it was, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's really more about me right it was more about when i was in that position it was like what are you gonna do like what my dad told me is like you know yeah. nobody's gonna do this shit for you nobody's gonna do anything for you and i'm sitting here feeling bad for myself now, wait, so Ken, that's that's, that's, <laughs> well, hey. that's that's getting to where you, you're oh. taking control of your of your own destiny yeah. you know and you're not relying on the government <laughs> So. <laughs> right, that's now that's a no no, right? Are you st- are, you, are you sending your stimulus check back? <laughs> hey, uh, that's what I, I want to know. I never got one. <laughs> yeah, and I ain't begging for it either. <laughs> uh, to me, I take that and I I'm just basically gave my rights over to him. Basically, yeah. yeah. Um, but no, it was it was more about just going through a process, you know, constantly getting worse, constantly not being able to do what I want to do, be the person I want to be. And I remember I was at a, a show one time, and this guy came up to me and started talking about these stem cells. And I was like, you know, I never heard of it, you know. And so he's talking about how good they are and how they do this. And I mean, we hear this a million times yeah, you from gotta, people. Somebody's always got something. Something, you know? right? It's a miracle drug. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've heard this before. Right. So I just kind of he handed me some stuff, and he says, no, I literally. So he literally pestered me. He'd call me. And he would get in contact with me. And then he, I saw him on my phone one time. He sent me uh, footage of guys that had done the stem cells, and one of them was Matt Hughes. And, I mean, you know what Matt Hughes' story is? He got hit by a train in his truck going to training. I mean, he was messed up. He was in a wheelchair. He was hardly moving around. I watched this transformation happen on film, and I, and, and Matt is, a, is not a kind of guy that's going to lie to you. He would just kind of like, he's just going to tell you the truth. And so I remember watching this thing as I'm watching this transformation. I see all the procedures they're doing. They're doing this story with them. And, and he's literally, you see him gradually over process on this, this footage they were doing, get up and walk out. Out of his wheelchair, he goes down there, walks out of this facility. And of course, it was a process of time. And walks out of this thing. And I'm like, okay, that guy's legit. So and I remember I called him and I talked to him and said, man, is that real? And then, was, of course, yeah, it was, and I'm like, okay. So then this dude, I end up calling this guy, and I go, hey, yeah, I'm interested. What, what's the deal? So he's like, hey, we're going to do this, we'll do that, and do this. You know, you go down there, and we'll, we'll put you in this thing, and, and, uh, and we'll take care of you. Everything will be great. And, of course, metadine, you think of metadine, you think of Columbia, you think of drugs and violence and gangsters. Yeah, somebody says, we'll take care of you. Like, yeah, <laughs> right. So, yeah, so you're like, am I coming home, right? So... He's like, no, dude, it's it's different. Metadine's changed, you know. They're trying to clean it up. It's very professional. And yeah, okay. So I was like, okay, you know. Uh, so they they fly me out there. I get down to going to this facility. Um, they put me through this process of these 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 different videos and different things on how they're going to do these certain things, what to expect um, when you're coming out after because you, you go into surgery, uh, and then what they're doing and what they're putting into your body. And of course, I don't have the understanding of what they're doing they're telling me but i don't have the understanding of it so i'll say okay so then the next day we go in they start taking my blood they get all this blood out there they take it for for i think it's 48 hours yeah. uh, they split do whatever they do to it right. i go back in and then they do the procedure things that they already warned me of well we're going to do it and the hotel is connected to the mall the mall is connected to the hospital so you never have to go outside so I go to this thing, and uh, they, they do these procedures. They videotape all of it. I don't get to see it, but I saw it later on. And they inject all these things right into my different areas in my joints. And 
I right, was. So they're not cutting you open. They're no, just needle. injecting. No, Yeah, it's okay. trigger point, right? It's right. just literally trigger point, and they're literally filling your joints up with this stem cells, and that's supposed to help rejuvenate and, and almost build your cartilages and different things back again. And, of course, you know, this all sounds really, really weird. So it's like, you know, it, 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 Matt's, uh, Matt said it worked. I got to believe him, man. And so I get the procedure done. I wake up the next morning. I can't put my clothes on. I mean, I am literally just sore and stiff. But there's one thing I did notice is that all the areas in my body where I was the inflammation, middle of my back, just the, all the irritations was, was gone. I mean, I literally didn't feel it. But I ached in all my joints where they had actually done the trigger point. Yeah. Now I was like, man, I hope this doesn't stay with me. It's like it's worse than what I felt like before with all the soreness. It was a big fucking needle. Yeah. yeah. So they end up taking me back in, and they they hooked me up with these IV bags. They put a bunch of bags in me that also got stem cells in them, and it goes into my body, and it starts to break up. It's supposed to help break up all the irritation in your body. I get on a plane, I fly home. Two months later, I'm doing a video that says I'm coming back to wrestling. I mean, I that's how fast it was. I literally went over to Australia and did a year to two years over there doing pro wrestling, suicide dives, hurricanranas, stuff that I could not do, not even attempt to do, let alone work out. And that's literally right from that point in time, I started my journey down the road. And each and every single month to this day, I feel like I'm getting better. This stuff I've always said, BioAccelerator um, is the only place that I believe that will give you what you need to be able to physically recover from your injuries as an athlete. The stuff that we go through, not the normal guys that go in and get it done. has got a little injury here and a little injury there. Guys that are severely beat up. This is the ticket, man, and I am not blowing smoke, man. This is the real deal. I guarantee anybody that goes there will come out feeling better than they did before. Much, much better. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. That's like... Uh... And you, uh, what were your limitations before you went there? Uh, I couldn't, I'm 35, I mean, I was, I was doing, I mean, I benched, you know, six, you know, I was benching 600 pounds along with dumbbells that were like, you know, 150 pound dumbbells I was benching at one time. That's when I was stronger, right? Now I'm actually benching 120s. Before that, I was only doing 35s. I, and barely because it just hurts so much. I mean, and that's why I literally stopped working out. It was like I felt like I couldn't do it. You go into the gym and you feel even worse coming out because you can't lift. <laughs> you know, it messes your ego up because you're like you used to lifting so much weight that now you can't even lift your arms. Yeah, you're, now you're doing the yoga. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that hurts to do yoga. It just tears Take care you down. of your yoga mat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, can you just grab my mat for me? <laughs> yeah, you're, 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 you're tights and your yoga mat. It's like, oh, I'm changing directions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it was a real deal, man. And, and um, like I said, it, until you do it, you just don't know, man. And I, mean, I can tell you all as much. It's the same thing that I'm saying that people said to me a hundred times. I just don't get it. I don't believe it, right? Until you actually do it, that's when you get it. So when uh, how, from you, when you got there, how long was the process? Two two days? A week. A, a week. week. A week. Yeah. Yep. One week, and then after that, it's constantly always rejuvenating. It's not. It doesn't stop. It constantly keeps rejuvenating and keeps rebuilding all okay. the things you had. So you go back or you're just seeing inside your body it's rejuvenating? Your body. My body's rejuvenating. I don't know when it stops because it hasn't stopped now, and it's been six years, I think. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's constant. Wow, that's so awesome. So it's, it's, it is. It's, it, to me, when I look at it, people talk about a miracle drug or a fountain of youth. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So Dan had uh, some stuff done with uh, stem cells also on his knees. With uh, really good results, right? Wake yeah, up, just yeah. but they're just uh, just localized shots, so not like the the big IV process that uh, Ken went through. But uh, no, I yeah, I had some real scary times that happened. I, I kept thinking that uh, this is it. I, you know, life is going to come to a really screechy halt. But uh, it literally uh, the stem cell shots gave me my life back to where I'm back on the mats so and teaching and. Uh, uh, doing what I enjoy doing, so I'm I'm really happy about that. Uh, especially, uh, I keep makes me wonder if I if I was to do the uh, actual IV portion, how much more would that give me? I mean, it's uh, the inevitability. I don't think you can turn back the entire clock of time because Father Time is going to win out no matter what. Um, 
but if it could, if it could give you a much more quality of life, Wait, you went to grade I'm school. more for you that. Went to grade I mean, school it's, uh, father time. <laughs> you went to grade school of father time. <laughs> and you're both kicking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no mercy. So, so, so bio, anyway, you're, you're, we're, we're, we're done with the Peter, Peter Gallery over there. <laughs> the company is... Well, Bio go ahead, Mr. Fry. Sorry, go ahead, Mr. Fry. You're yeah. interrupting me, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Bio Accelerator. Yeah, it's it's Bio Accelerator, and it's out of Medellin, Colombia. Um, when you do it here in the states, I'm not putting it down because it obviously worked for right. Dan. But when we're talking about some extreme, like yeah, necks, uh, backs. Uh, High-level athletes. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I tell you, it's, 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 yeah, no. Um, <laughs> Rich, you stirred the pot over there, Rich. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it, it's, it's more about the, I think, the more of the extreme kind of injuries. And not just the extreme, but multiple. I mean, like, you've got seven things like that just are going on and i think that when you go in with the in the u.s there's just a certain level of these cells that they will give you and if you have a lot of things that are going on um, they're not going to give you what you need in one treatment they may give it to you in seven or eight treatments but you know that that's a lot of time to spend in a hospital right. whereas it's, you go in one time here they're going to give you everything for everything in your body that you need in that one treatment it's easier to get babies in Medellin too. So, oh no, no, this is your own stem cells. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, Different like, conversation. That's, hey, that's one conversation I did have uh, when they actually came to me uh, about doing these stem cells. Was that because uh, obviously I knew nothing about it. So when I started uh, doing the research, there was this you know abortions and aborting babies, and I was like, whoa, you know. And then so I went and said, hey, dude, I'm I just I'm not going to support that. He goes, no, 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 no. We do it from the umbilical cord. We don't do anything with the babies and that. It all comes from the umbilical cord. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, cool. Because, uh, and the uh, placenta. The placenta. Yeah. 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 So you, you get to eat the placenta like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like hey, also, you know, let me tell you what. Wow, if it like, did what it did for me, I'd eat it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of eating placentas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what was the name of the company you worked with? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, I'll give you a chance to uh, spot this. He didn't man. put his finger up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who did you work with, Dan? Well, it was actually uh, just two two different companies right there in Arizona. So I was really happy. It's right there in Arizona where I used these uh, companies and uh, uh, I, two different two different types of companies. The second company was more in tune as to what uh, Ken was talking about. You know, utilizing. The umbilical cord and the placenta. So uh, the uh, the first company was more of an artificial type of uh, stem cell application. I still had great results on my knees, but uh, it didn't really bounce back my hip the way I thought it would. And uh, so I did. I ended up going to for some additional shots, uh, and uh, that has made a world of difference. So you don't want to give the name, <laughs> but uh, I, I I can't. Again, I can't think of the, the the one company has gone out of business here right now. But I I, I will I will if I mean as, as people are, are watching this, they can simply just get they can just get in contact with uh, Donna Fry's toxic masculinity, and it will uh, we can fill those questions uh, that afterwards. But uh, that way we we'll get some people kind of moving. But uh, I am going to you guys were bad mouth shit bad mouthing uh, yoga there now i'm going to talk to uh diamond dallas page and i think he'll uh he'll have something different to say about you know because he teaches yoga for men <laughs> is, there, is there a thing is that a thing for men for men <laughs> real men or, uh, <laughs> or people identifying yes as men. actually di di diamond dallas page does yeah i'd say diamond dallas page does have a program called uh ddp uh yoga and it's yoga for men, and uh, he actually has taken a couple people underneath uh, his wing that probably would not be here today, and uh, <laughs> and, and they've helped turn their their world around for him. So, so the next uh, thing we're going to do is, is called is masculinity kind of guys here that has yoga. Done some wonderful things. <laughs> Toxic masculinity. Masculinity yoga. <laughs> <laughs> 
You got to wear your old uh, PE coach's uh, yeah. uh, yeah. tight I shorts. Don't you know? world, I don't know if the world is ready yet to see Dot Bryant a pair of leotards. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah. I'll just put on a singlet, you know, yeah, t-shirt yo. underneath yeah. of it, you know, <laughs> and a weight uh, belt. Yeah. Old Vision Quest. Right, right. Wrestling yeah. shoes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave the headgear off, though. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's the name of the place you went to uh, in Medellin? Uh, Bio Accelerator. Bio Accelerator. Bio Accelerator. Yeah. They have a website, you think? Yes. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. You can look it up. Bio Accelerator. Um, and there's uh, representatives here in the U.S. Uh, actually, there's one here right in Arizona. Um, in fact, as we had contacted him, uh, I believe it was t- today or, or last night, uh, we had talked to him. And so he was actually going to uh, meet with uh, Don, except for he had some some family issues, and he apologized for not being able to make it, but he's definitely would, would love to be able to meet with you. So. Get some more interesting customers, huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> more, more qualified. Oh boy, does he, he has no idea what he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> they got the the hospital, the, ho- the, the, uh, the mall, the hotel, the morgue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, that, the, the cemetery that's, that's and the, the jail. That's for the, that's for the thing when they don't work out so well. They yeah, just, you know, just keep you shuffling. Easy. If you make it all the way down to the end, you're yeah. still fine. You got to sign a waiver when you go in there. It could cause death. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, but sometimes that might not be too bad. You know, right. you know, some some days you wake up and you if you're ready. Oh yeah, you're yeah. Just yeah. Just you're like, like looking ready. for the Lord, light. Take me now. <laughs> Where's yeah. that light I'm supposed oh, to be walking yeah. towards? It's got to be better than this. Well, yeah, no, I was there. I'm I've, I've woken up like that bad, you know, and just like, fuck this, I'm yeah. done, you know. Yep, been there, man. I'm tired of this nonsense. Yeah, just before I got that, man, that's exactly how I felt. I just felt so, just like, really, this is it? Like, yeah. And, uh, and uh, man, it just was a perfect it's not, timing. This is not the way I want to go out. No, you know? man. I mean, I was geez. doing a sell-out stadiums and arenas, you know, and now I came and <laughs> yep. made it to the pisser. And up. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, dude, man, don't make me live this long. Take me now. If yeah. this is the way it is, just just do it now. Yeah. yeah. So, it only goes downhill from here. Huh? Yeah, well, that's what they, you know, get around 60 years old, man. It's It's like people say, yeah, it's... Just starting out like, no, brother, we're going down the other side. Yeah. <laughs> it's just slowing it down and enjoying it. Yeah, well, they, one, one of the times they did. Well, well they can't, have they give, have they given you any idea as to, they've had to have had other people that they, they've uh, gone through this program so far. Uh, what's their feedback been as to how long, Will this continue to do good for your body, or does it simply does it just last a, a certain time period, or does it help just rejuvenate and then you're still going to go so long and then teeter off? I mean, I just uh, elaborate a little bit more if, if you can. I'm just I, I'm interested on in, in this aspect. Yeah, what it does is it helps rejuvenate all the the damage and the torn tissues and muscles and different things in there. It's supposed to actually rejuvenate that. And when it rejuvenates, it doesn't deteriorate and go away. Obviously, though, as you continue to keep living, it's obviously going to keep deteriorating. But what it does is that what it actually builds it up to where you're you're at your point where you're normal. And then, of course, as time goes on, just like with anything in life, it's going to go away sooner or later. But it's not like you lose the effect of the bioaccelerator. You don't lose the effect. It's already built. It takes like I've been it's been about what six years now or something like that. And it, I feel like I'm constantly still getting better. And I'm sure that there's going to be a time because 56, 57 years old now, um, just like with any age, you're going to start regressing. 57? 57. Jeez. Yes. It's going to regress. There's no question <laughs> we're going to regress. But I'm having a better quality of life now because I got it done. And that's the thing. And if I want to go back in and do it again as I get older and it start and I start maybe going back, and I haven't to this point, but if I start going back into that, point where i was at where i just I can't get up and i don't feel good and i can't work out i can go back and get it done again and it will help me live better even from that point on each time i can still go get it done to make me feel better all i'm saying is is it just doesn't disappear when you get it done it's not like a drug where it wears off and then all of a sudden you still have these injuries it's not like that it's literally like it regrows and rebuilds your your the things that you've damaged yeah, and those things aren't going to go away, right? No, you no. build rebuild cartilage; it's not going to go away. It's not going to yeah, in, in, it's not going to melt two away. Years, yeah, you know? yeah. 
Yeah, but as time, as we get older, those things are going to, it, it's just nature. That's just the way it is. We cells, deteriorate. Cells split. And yes. All that kind of stuff yep. continues. Yep. Uh, yeah, and that's where we come in with the, I mean, if you want to get even more extreme, you come in with the hormonal medicines, you know, because we our testosterone and our growth hormone in our own bodies yeah, quit. deteriorate, <laughs> right? Quit a long time ago. Right. Yeah. So in order to do that, you got to go in into doctors and they literally prescribe you things to be able to enhance your hormonal, which is your testosterone and your growth hormones in your own body to be at a normal level. If you at your age, whatever your age is, just so that they're even and at an even keel, so you're not being depressed and you're not feeling ucky. It keeps everything balanced. So that's just another part of being healthy is being able to use that age management type living along with the bioaccelerators, the stem cells, which is that really is taking 20 years off your life to so that you're literally 20 years younger. That'll put you what at 50. <laughs> I'm not good at math, but 50, hey, right? It's, it's better than 70 if you're at 70. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. I remember the uh, one of one of the times I went in for my back. The doctor said, you know, these backs are just designed for 70 years of life. You know, he said, and you got a 85 year old woman's back. You know? yeah. <laughs> tore it up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I started 17 when I tore mine up. 17 right. years old, I tore my neck up and. You know, and from that point on, I and I and I've always been this way. I think fitness is very important to you know having quality of life, and uh, so I've always done that. And 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 a lot of people when they they look at me, I've always been accused of certain things. But the one thing I can tell you is I have never abused anything. I always have been under a doctor's care. Have always done it the right way, and that's why I'm able to still look the way I look, train the way I train now, and still stay healthy. <laughs> 